Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about ticker symbol ETFM. By the time you guys are watching this video, uh, the ticker symbol may have changed to FOMO, F-O-M-O. So please uh, make sure to just check and make sure you're investing in the right company. And now just as a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, so make sure to do your own do due diligence while you're investing. So I wanted to go ahead and cover this company since I think there's going to be some really good uh, catalyst for this company as well as just uh, great long-term potential for this company. Basically, they're be looking to become a public version of Y Combinator as in, uh, you know, acquiring and merging upcoming uh, companies. And they're in a few sectors that I believe will be great um, for the short term. Uh, currently, they're in the disinfection as well as the clean energy business. And I'll go ahead into and do a deep dive into each company that they've currently acquired, as well as uh, what other businesses they've um, been doing deals with. So let's go ahead and talk about that today. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is that this is a penny stock. Um, this is traded on the OTC market, so you won't be able to trade this on Robinhood or Rebel. Um, some platforms you might be able to trade it on are Fidelity, Schwab, and E-Trade. So make sure to check those out. Um, now, one thing that I will know about this stock is that it's very high risk, high reward. Um, if you look at the market cap, this is only trading at about $87 million. And that's a really low market cap, but that's the nature of OTC stocks. So just make sure to do your due diligence when you're investing in these type of stocks. And I do believe that right now this company is somewhat undervalued. And I'll go ahead and get into the estimated growth revenues um, for 2021 and you know what type of things that I think will really help propel this uh, company into a future leader. All right, so let's go ahead and get a bit into uh, what this company actually does. If you go to their about page on FOMOWorldwide.com, uh, you'll basically see this generic, uh, you know, they're a publicly traded company that focuses on business incubation and acceleration, and they invest in as well as advise emerging companies. Um, some of these emerging companies uh, include SmartGuard, Purge Virus, uh, PPE Source International, Clean Peak Energy, Ecolite Holdings LLC, and Independence LED. Now, just to keep this video short, um, feel free to read all of these articles for yourself. But I'm just going to be doing a quick summary of basically all the deals that they've been involved with. And the first one I'm going to be talking about is Independence LED. Uh, FOMOCORP has acquired all the assets of Independence LED and will be using it with their projects uh, regarding uh, Ecolite Holdings LLC. And this might also align with the lighting aspect of the Smart Guard Energy businesses. And they might use these assets with projects regarding that business as well. Now, one thing that I really like about this deal is that uh, it's mainly about Independence LED's 10-year customer list, IPs, and uh, general know-how in their POE or Power Over Ethernet business, which is a huge uh, growth market. And they also grow lights for indoor farming and cannabis. So next up, we do have uh, SmartGuard Energy LLC. So FOMOCORP has acquired 100% membership interest, aka equity, in SmartGuard Energy. And this company is really special because it's actually made of three entities, which are focused on disinfection, solar services, lighting services, and energy services. Uh, this is a huge player in the space. And currently, according to Vic, the estimated revenues for 2021 are anywhere between 10 and $15 million and up to $130 million, um, quote, if they hit Puerto Rico. I'm not too sure what that means. I'm assuming they have some deal that is pending in Puerto Rico, but I'm going to go ahead and wait it out and, you know, see what the confirmation is. Just uh, make sure that you guys know about this, but it's nothing set in stone currently. So I think SmartGuard Energy LLC as a whole is one of the biggest uh, reasons why I think FOMO will be doing well in the upcoming year. Um, so SmartGuard UV is one of the entities that are in SmartGuard Energy LLC. And one thing that I noticed is that you can actually see their products on their website when you go on it. And this is really special since a lot of OTC stocks, you know, are, aren't legitimate and they don't have a real product. So actually seeing that you can um, view their products on their website is uh, really special, you know. And this also aligns very well with one of their other acquisitions, uh, Purge Virus. So SmartGuard UV is basically focused on disinfection products. And um, you guys can see their products right here. So I won't talk about them too much, 
But let's go ahead and talk about the next entity. So another entity in Smart Guard Energy is LED funding. And basically what they do is uh, provide comprehensive turnkey energy efficient um, lighting solutions that enable customers to save over 50% on the lighting portion of their energy bill with no upfront costs. Um, you can read the process right here and that's basically how they actually are able to do this. And the last entity is Lux Solutions and they're basically um, similar to both the SmartGuard UV and LED funding LLC. Uh, they basically offer energy services, lighting services, solar services, and disinfection services. So I kind of forgot to talk about this since um, this is actually my second time doing research on this company. But um, they also have a 100% equity stake in Purge Virus. So basically what they do is uh, they offer a one-stop shop for proven and cost-effective germicidal disinfection of air as well as services across the commercial and residential landscape. And they also provide PPE, which is personal protective equipment, to help further reduce um, the spread of COVID-19 and other viruses. And one thing that I really like about this and the, all of the companies that FOMO is involved in is that they have real customers right now. Uh, currently, Purge Virus's customers include dental care, restaurants, and hotels. So the next company that FOMOCorp is involved in is actually an unnamed one, but basically they've revealed that they're looking to acquire a nationwide HVAC uh, services contractor. And currently, uh, like I said, the company is unnamed, but estimated revenues from this acquisition is $3 million for 2021. And I believe this may be used in the future for projects with SmartGuard Energy as well as Purge Virus, but that's just my personal opinion. So here is another company that ETFM or Formal Corp is actually involved in right now. Um, it's named uh, Clean Peak Energy. And I, I don't think this will be a huge player in their business. Um, basically, the CEO said they're not buying CPE. It's just a sales agreement. And essentially, from what I read, it's just a commission deal with Clean Peak Energy Group. And they'll basically be getting 50% of commissions on whatever sales they help Clean Peak Energy make. So yet another acquisition that Fulmer Corp is involved in is Ecolite Holdings. Um, basically, it's like it says, um, you know, they've acquired Ecolite Holdings, or this is a letter of intent to rather. Um, but basically, I think this will be used with their Independence LED and also their Smart Guard Energy businesses. So I think this will. I think all three of these businesses are really good, and it just shows how serious that FOMO is about this whole uh, clean energy and disinfection business. So these next two are part of the energy management business, and they're actually one company, and basically FOMO Corp is working with Energy Intelligence Center and OEM, or Online Energy Manager, but basically uh, these two companies are one and the same, and FOMO has acquired all the IPs of OEM through the EIC deal, which this means that they don't need to buy OEM at a cost of $10 million. Um, feel free to read through the 8Ks to see what the deals are and what the pricing is. But um, like I said, they do not need to buy OEM currently since they do have all the IPs. However, the CEO um, of FOMO Corp did say that they will buy OEM in the future, but obviously this is no assurances and um, this is just something that the CEO said and it may happen in the future. So as a bit of a recap, I'm gonna be talking about the different businesses again and just a little summary of what they do and their uh, revenues. Go ahead and look at this slide. Um, this, is, this isn't this is official information, this is just information that me and someone else have actually done our research on and believe that these are gonna be their you know revenues and I think it's relatively, um, relatively accurate and I think this may come into fruition in the future but we'll go ahead and see for the future um, but yeah smart guard purge virus and PBSI they're in the disinfection business uh, we're estimating for it to be 13 million dollars in revenue on the low side um, eco light and independence LED they're involved in the lighting business and we're estimating 5.5 million dollars for 2021 and the HVAC um, there is one company that's unnamed and then Lux uh, which is a part of smart guard energy LLC um, we're estimating $3 million in revenue. And then energy management, we have OEM and EIC. Um, like I said earlier, uh, we go ahead, we have all access to their IPs. And so this is a bit of a toss up and we, me and, uh, another guy need to do more research on this. So I'll get back to you guys on that. 
but I think that that will be a huge um, generator of revenue. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, feel free to look at the other numbers on this. Um, but overall, I think you know FOMO is currently really undervalued, and I think a lot of their revenues will be shown in this upcoming year since a lot of these acquisitions were made very recently. Um, if you look at the dates of all the 8Ks and all the news articles that I showed you earlier, you'll see that all this stuff was in pretty much the past month. So I think there's a lot of room for growth at an $87 million market cap. I think this thing will be pretty undervalued coming 2022. So this is more of a long investment, but obviously there's going to be, you know, short term swings up and downs. So you, you can day trade this and swing trade this if you want. But personally for me, I think this is a bit of a longer hold. And, you know, I think this has room to grow up to, you know, $500 million market cap in the next year. Um, obviously, there may be a bit of a share dilution, but I'll have to do more research into that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that research. And uh, just make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more research in the future. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.